Hi Daniele, I am writing to tell you two things. The first is that I had another record sale of a stock image for $69 on Shutterstock, an Italian Mediterranean buffalo that I have already sold 20 times for a total of $75. Here is the photo that you can embed in the podcast text on microstockguru.com. The second thing that I wanted to tell you is that lately I've been selling a lot of photos on Shutterstock of a specific place, Pasnan in Poland. All the sales are 10 cents each, and as a quantity, they're about 70-80% of the total sales I have for my entire portfolio. About 4-5 or five photos are sold every two days. I don't know if this is normal, it probably is, but I can't figure out why it happens. Has this or something similar ever happened to you? From the basement of a house in the countryside, the micro stock guru, the godfather of stock footage, the man who can teach you how to make money selling your photos and videos online. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Carrere. The words with which I opened the episode are from a professional photographer and excellent producer of stock images that I have already spoken about several times in this podcast. His name is Giulio Martino and I mention him because the topics he talks about are things that I would like to discuss with you. I gladly quote this message from Giulio, both because it is always nice to hear how much commitment a professional photographer puts into the Microsoft business and because it is interesting to analyze what happened to him to allow all of you listeners to create your own strategy and make more money. I first talk about the Buffalo, which is the subject of his $69 sale. A $69 sale means that the customer paid about $200 considering how much Shutterstock pays the contributors. I think this success is both a matter of a technique and subject. The image is flawless from a technical point of view and portrays only the buffalo's head without any particular combinations with secondary subjects. Don't get me wrong guys, Julio is a professional and I know he knows how to take a picture unlike social network photographers who feel like artists but don't actually know what photography is, Julio was also good at using the few secondary elements of the picture, like the barbed wire and a wooden stake, without the animal being covered in any way, but it is interesting to see how such a simple subject has had success in an already highly saturated market like Microstock is today. The Italian Mediterranean buffalo is a niche animal which is successful on Microstocks, both because it is not easy to find it around the world and because from a commercial point of view behind that animal there is a market with a lot of money to spend on communication and Giulio was good at taking advantage of the opportunity to shoot that subject not too far from the place where he lives. So he spent nothing to create the stock image of a subject that other contributors who live in different parts of the world will have spent a lot of money to shoot. That's his simple secret. Taking advantage of subjects you can shoot for free while other contributors had to pay to portray them. I'm sure, kind listeners, that in your area there are a lot of subjects that you can shoot easily and that can give similar good sales results. Julia and I live in Italy, where let's say there is a subject related to food and beverage around every corner and a lot of companies willing to spend their money on footage and images that portray it. I'm 100% sure that you can find something similar where you live, a beach, a mountain lake, an agricultural field, a shop, the assembly line of your friend. It can also be a person like someone you know who owns a gym and allows you to shoot people who run on tapir long. Or maybe just your mom who likes cooking or even yourself if you have a garden and simply cut the grass or cultivate plants, which can be a great subject for your stock footage. Remember that the digital world is for people who have great ideas and the ability to work on them. Only merit counts and for the best worker there is always the possibility of making a lot of money. For the others who like to complain, 
I'm sure haters who live on Facebook should be the greatest role models for them. As for the second news, that is the large quantity of sales of photos of the city of Poznan. Honestly, I have never had a similar success for a stock image or for stock footage of a certain place, not even in the first period of the Microsoft business back 15 years ago, a time when there was much less competition. Well, I did a little research on Google News to understand if something is happening in Poznan, and it would seem that there are no events on the way or in the launch phase, nothing that justifies the purchase of so many photos of the city. On Shutterstock, by the way, at the moment there are more than 40,000 photos of Poznan, therefore I don't have a technical explanation for the extraordinary sales that Julio is having. I ask you, kind listeners, can you help us understand what happened? Well, in the next episode, maybe we will solve the mystery and maybe we will use the solution to sell more in the future. Now, dear friends, some updates on what I said in the last episode. Let's start with Unreal Engine, the fantastic software that can create people in real time with a photorealistic quality, starting with models you can download. An old friend of mine, and of the podcast, whose name is Daniele Gae, wrote me to add more information about it. I've listened to your podcast and you mentioned Unreal Engine and Quixels Meta Humans. Well, I use a similar software called Blender, which is more versatile, but more and more graphic designers are switching to Unreal Engine because it has crazy realism. I take this opportunity to tell you how things are going as a contributor. While everyone complains that sales are falling, they do not understand that the reason why this happens is that they always try to sell the same kinds of photos, of which there are millions already published. Those who have the desire and passion, if they, for example, create 3D illustrations, will have more chances to sell a product with little competition but in great demand. I make many sales with the simple keyword 3D, combined with the required team such as Monster or Fantasy. I still sell aliens and UFOs but also a lot of Vikings and Fantasy, all made in 3D. Pay attention if there's a person, even if created in 3D, but Microstocks want the property release. So basically, Microstock works well with illustrations. With the money I earn from my growing sales, I pay the subscriptions to various sites from which I buy and download 3D models and textures. By doing so, I expand my archive with endless possibilities to create other sellable images, not only on Microstocks. Although I have uploaded very little this year on both Shutterstock and Adobe Stock, my sales have increased. I often sell single images for several dollars. My highest sale is a werewolf with a castle and a full moon in the forest, a single sale for $77. That month, I hit $300 only on Shutterstock. Dear friends, I agree 100% with the other Daniele. He has my same name and he was also born in my year, 1977. Well, what a coincidence. I think we should focus on one aspect of his message. There's a basic business rule, even in Microsoft. The most important law of any market is supply and demand. If you compete on content for which there is a lot of offer, it is very difficult to make money. If, on the other hand, you publish different content, such as stock illustrations created in 3D graphics, you have a much better chance of selling. And Daniele proves it. That's it. Less a felt tower images and more werewolves. Uh, I linked to you in the text of the podcast his story, which is that of a full-time graphic designer who started from school and went through the creation of the covers of magazines that he still does and dozens of other projects connected to his creativity, including Microstock, which is still a side business for him. I think you can learn many lessons from his experience to earn more. I have one suggestion. 
always try to learn from those who have achieved something. Forget those who are not even able to put their life in place, but give advice to others. Thank you for sharing this information, my friend, with my same name. Well, guys, in the next episode, I should tell you what happened in 1977. In the next episode, because now I only know that in 1977, uh, Star Wars was released, the first episode, I mean. Unfortunately, in all the years, there are no Olympic Games or Football World Cup, so no great sport events. Jimmy Carter was the president of the United States, of course, in Italy. That year, we should have had at least three or four presidents, as presidents don't last for long in Italy. We're a strange country. Well, I'll let you know. Now, I still want to talk about Unreal Engine Paula writes to me with some questions that I turn to the whole community, as apparently there is a niche of 3D graphics enthusiasts among you listeners. I find the Unreal Engine software exceptional and would like to start studying and working on it. I am a photographer and with this tool I could approach stock footage, but I have questions. Can I also create JPEGs or just videos? Can I also use this software for commercial use? I have read the license and I think it can be done, but I will also like your confirmation. Thanks for the question, Paula. I will briefly answer what you are asking. I took just a quick look at the software, starting with the incredible video that the authors have posted on YouTube that shows people you may think are real and you finally discover that they were created on the computer. Well, crazy. I remind those who missed the previous episode that the Unreal Engine is free software, at least in its basic version, and it creates subjects in real time, therefore without rendering. I'm so sorry that I still haven't deepened my understanding of this software enough to answer Paula's question with full knowledge, as an entrepreneur, I'm always used to think about solving problems right away. So if there is no native image export function, you can always export the video and extract the frame with any editing software. The 4K resolution is eight megapixels, so it is above the minimum resolution accepted by Microstocks, which usually starts at two megapixels. As for commercial use, from what I have read, I also think that what you create with Unreal Engine can be sold for commercial use. About the release for Microstocks, as Daniele Guy told us, I guess you have to declare that they are digital people created with Unreal Engine, and consequently, you do not need a traditional release. Agency know that such software exists and will consequently already have rules for it. However, I ask all of you kind listeners to confirm what Paula asked. So, community and contributors, let's work together. We are a group of photographers and video makers who do not like war, but work to do better and better by sharing our knowledge. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the MicroStock Guru answers your questions. Well, my friends, in the last episode, I only aired two questions because I spent a lot of time talking about other important topics. So today I would like to give you more answers than usual. I start with one of those technical questions that I like more. I just bought your course. I was studying the dropstock.io keyword tool and your explanations are very clear. There is one thing, however, that I don't understand. I simulated a search based on the main keyword coffee combined with the secondary keyword breakfast and it seemed to be a good subject to produce new stock footage. But when I type coffee breakfast together on the Pound5 search engine, I get 90,000 results which I think means too much competition to be worth it. What should we do in these cases? Give it up and move on to something else or try it all the same? Well, dear student, thanks for buying my course. First, the results of an agency like Pond5 are rising. They now have 30 million videos for sale. 90,000 results for those two keywords together 
are a lot. I also checked the single words coffee and breakfast and they both have more than 300,000 hits. But try to consider one important thing. Dropstock.io measures supply and demand together. It is the only tool on the market that does it. So when you get a high Dropstock.io rating and a lot of supply, it means that there is also a lot of demand. If I were you, I would try to create something on those subjects. But first, find a good idea if you want to earn. Combine those subjects with people, because when there is a lot of competition, using people gives you something more. So let's go straight to the point. Recruit a family member or a friend of yours and have them simulate a breakfast situation. Light up the scene and before shooting, write down a plan with 20, 30 situations related to breakfast and coffee like the person who drinks coffee normally, drinking coffee fast while eating something, maybe while standing up, the coffee spilling on the table for a distraction, the person checking the laptop and smartphone while drinking coffee. The limit is your creativity. And that's what we all love about Microsoft, being free to produce what we decide and knowing that sales depend only on how good we have been. Coming to the other question, it is difficult to come up with a number of POM5 results that suggest that the subject is not worth it. Indeed, it is wrong to do it, in my opinion, because you always have to measure supply and demand together. So if there is a lot of supply, but there is also a lot of demand, it can still be worth it. The favorable relationship between supply and demand is stalled only by dropstock.io. There are some subjects that have very few results in agencies, but they are not convenient to shoot because only a few buyers want them. If I type in the name of the small town where I live today on Palm 5, I don't think any results will show, but I'm not interested in shooting it, even if it's outside my door, because there aren't any buyers looking for images or footage of the city where I live. Palm 5 is not worth uploading stock images, is it? I never asked this question. Kidding. That's right, I can tell you that images don't sell on Palm 5, even if the agency sells them. So it's best to avoid wasting your time on uploading photos there. Remember that you can't consider free something just because you don't pay to do it. I imagine that you already sell stock images you now want to sell on Palm 5 on other agencies. But even if it is free to upload the content on Palm 5, as they don't ask contributors for money to sell their content, you will spend your precious time doing it, even if you use software like Stock Submitter or Microsoft Plus. This means losing money because at the same time you can do something that can give you an income instead, like producing new content. Consequently, the agencies where you sell your content must be carefully selected and Palm 5 is not worth selling anything other than stock footage. The videos that my Canon EOS M50 creates are MP4 files that are not so heavy. I edit them with Adobe After Effects and export them as Apple ProRes 422HQ. By doing so, they become too heavy. A 150 megabytes video becomes five times heavier. If I export on Apple ProRes 422, but not HQ, do you think it will be okay for stock footage? Well, this is uh, a question for those who produce stock footage, so I will answer quickly before the listeners run away. As I know most of you are photographers who do not like shooting videos, please change your mind, guys. My friend, you can safely use the known HQ Apple ProRes 422, which weights slightly less, but don't expect to produce half size files. Unfortunately, professional formats are large. 
to change something you should switch to H.264 codec, but many editors still don't like it because in color correction operations it creates images with more artifacts compared to less compressed formats such as the Apple ProRes or Photo JPEG. I am in love with time lapses. I would like to produce something in Rome in 8K 60 frames per second. Do you think I have a few competitors in today's market? Could it be attractive for those who buy content for producing documentaries or feature films? Well, my friend from Rome, I think, I think you're Italian at least, beautiful city, by the way, there are still a few competitors on 8K today, especially at 60 frames per second. The problem is that currently there is also little demand from buyers and nobody knows whether 8K will actually replace 4K within a few years or not. However, the downscale from 8K to 4K is in the same aspect ratio. As a result, if you upload in 8K, the customer can buy 4K as it would have if you uploaded directly at that resolution. The only problem for you is that the render times are much longer because the resolution is four times greater. Well, last question now. Hi, Daniele. Thank you very much for all the advice you give us. I have a question related to the world of Microsoft, in which I am planning to start selling. Do agencies accept abstract images like fractals created from photos shot by me? Agency accept abstract photos, but in the example you make, fractals, the sellability is very poor, so you risk wasting time to earn nothing. Again, read the story of Daniele Gai, the contributor I mentioned earlier in this episode. He has always been a photographer too, but he found a good niche on 3D graphics. You could try to do like him, taking inspiration from his story that I link you on the text of the podcast that you can access by clicking the link on the description of the episode. Thank you for listening to my answers. The time for the answers has run out. Please. Submit your questions about stock images and stock footage on microstockguru.com contact page. In this last part of the podcast, I would like to talk about a topic that always concerns photography and digital business for photographers and video makers, but not directly microstock. I do this by quoting one of the countless messages that come to me usually in Italian and sometimes in English, in the two weeks that separate the release of episodes. I say usually in Italian because the podcast is first released in that language and the Italian version is also an older show with more listeners, 106 episodes, while this is only the 18th episode in English. I wanted your opinion on a small book that I self-published on Amazon. It is an autobiography of my career as a photographer. I don't know if I did something wrong, but after months in the Amazon reports, there have been no sales, which seems strange to me. Since you also have some experience in publications, if you have any information to give me, I would appreciate it. So listeners, let's talk about another form of monetization for you as photographers. The friend mentions a written book, something that you can publish too. If you don't like to write, remember that you can publish your photo books on Amazon and sell them all over the world. Let's say you have 1000 good images. With them, you can publish and therefore monetize at least 10 books. But it's not all that simple, and let me tell you why. As I said, our friend's question has little to do with Microsoft, but I am happy to quote it because I would like this podcast to also talk about other digital businesses that can be done with photos and videos, and therefore, I gladly share my answer. The flow of selling books on Amazon is also the platform's greatest asset. Everyone can publish. Consequently, the buyer has so many choices that the chances of selling your book are low unless you can do something to show your product to potential customers. 
just like what happens with stock images in microstock i have a book for sale on amazon it is called sell your photos and videos online i have thousands of people who visit my site microstockguru.com and who often appreciate what i teach which is the same as my book how to make money with microstock I also have thousands of subscribers to my newsletters. Despite this, I have sold only a few hundred copies of the book. If I hadn't had a website, I would have sold only dozens of them at most. Since the subject of the book is interesting, considering that I teach people how to earn. If I had instead published an autobiography, I would not have sold even a copy because no one admires me to the point of buying a book where I tell my story. That's why no one will buy it. Not because Amazon is conspiring against you. As I told you, it would be the same if it were me or any other person with our same history as little known artists. Amazon's only purpose is to make money and you're not able to help them with your product. With Amazon publishing, all paradigms change compared to the traditional publishing. If you need a publisher for your book, you will have had to wander around for years looking for it and you would have earn 10% of the cover price. You will probably have sold more copies than those you sell with Amazon, but Amazon publishes you with no selection and gives you more than 50% of what customers pay. In short, traditional publishing and self-publishing are two different worlds. Please, when something makes you angry, try seriously to understand why it happens. Do not always blame the Rothschilds, Freemasonry, Bill Gates or the Illuminati. At least do this if you want to live well. If you want to live full of sorrows and lose your nights chasing the fake news that tells you that your problems are generated by someone else, then I'm sure you will find a lot of opportunities on social networks. But is that really what you want? Well, guys, I think what you just heard is the 18th episode of Sell Your Photos and Videos Online, which, by the way, is also the title of my book you can find on Amazon. At this point, a good podcaster should remind you to share the link on Facebook, subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, and buy my course. I probably won't do this just because I'm not a good podcaster. And actually, for now, I don't mind not being one. Thank you for listening. And let me remind you that the important thing in life is not to have fun, but to be happy. Bye. You've just listened to Sell Your Photos and Videos Online with your host, Danielle Carrere. Be sure to visit microstockguru.com to access the show notes and discover fantastic bonus content to make more money with your stock footage and stock images. microstockguru.com